in previous lectures actually you have seen several types of pumps but here i deleted all this uh, extra pumps i kept only whatever is used for your oil industry so oil industry using basically positive displacement and centrifugal pump and some other type will be there like gas lift system jet pump okay so i exclude everything first let's focus on positive displacement kinetic or centrifugal pump positive displacement pump reciprocating we already discussed and we'll be discussing later screw pump screw pump means pcp and centrifugal pump we are discussing so it is having different types so we'll go later uh, or the different types so one will be axial flow type i already told mixed flow type radial flow type okay so flow velocity or flow rate is high and head is low okay for axial flow mixed flow in between and radial flow q low h high okay and some scientists thought let's make a mixed flow type so that it will have higher head and higher flow rate also so that is called mixed flow type pump okay and for more information you just you try to watch uh, youtube videos uh, how pumps work okay uh, here some pictures are there uh, before showing picture i'll explain this this is impeller whatever we tested in our laboratory okay actually this is the impeller but inside what is there uh, we cannot see so i brought this one okay uh, it is having this flow channel you can see these are flow channels okay uh, these are flow channels fluid is going there fluid will be entering here there is one hole and it will be going through this again it will be entering this exiting this entering this exiting this entering here going there entering here going there okay these are called flow channels or flow passage so these are flow passage passage actually flow passage okay and fluid is entering through this i impeller i this area called impeller i okay this area called impeller i okay and here in this picture impeller i like impeller can see from there right i uh these are called blades these are called blades these are called blade okay blade okay blade so this area i i have already shown this area is i okay and flow passage uh, in the first picture i cannot see uh where i have shown this impeller i uh, because this is already one plate is there okay so this impeller is having front plate and back plate so in this picture i can see back plate this one back plate te plate okay and that means it is like this if i remove this one this front part then i can see impeller like this okay this impeller same actually both are same almost i remove the front plate and i can see the blades okay this is impeller i this is impeller i okay and blades are like this blades are having like this this path is their blade okay so you can see the blade path now impeller that inlet i side impeller height is higher impeller height is lower here okay so height will be higher here this impeller height and same impeller height will be lower here okay so impeller height impeller height high at i low at exit what is exit fluid is entering here axial entry then it is going through this so you see this properly how actual becoming radial fluid is coming here entering then there is back plate this is plate is back plate okay this plate is back plate so fluid cannot go directly so actually coming then it is turning okay it is turning radially perpendicular to axis so this is called radial flow impeller so this is my 
radial flow impeller okay and radial flow impeller will have one front plate okay so here in picture i will write it uh, i think next picture I, I should have this is back plate back plate plat and this is front plate okay so back plate and for front plate it creating a passage a channel flow path okay you can see this is passage a channel actually this is there is one hole this hole directly coming to here this is there is hole a fluid entering and it's going like this so that cut out be it's showing clearly how fluid is entering through i going through this channel and going out okay this is called impeller why impeller impeller means fluid impeller will be rotating in this very high speed at this direction okay direction you should remember this is the direction of rotation you see this is the direction not like this if it, this is the direction of rotation the fluid will be entering from exit and it will come to i okay so fluid if you rotating this way so fluid will be entering it will come to i so actually centrifugal pump will not pump maybe it will be sucking so actual pump action will be rotation will be like this okay so it will be fluid will be entering and it will be going out so here i'll mark on this flow direction uh, impeller rotation will be like this so here also rotation will be like this impeller rotating in this direction rotating in the direction rotating fluid is going out okay so impeller when rotating fluid will be entering it will be going how why should it enter so first you have to fill the impeller properly when you are filling that is called priming the term i already explained in some other lecture priming okay priming means fill the impeller completely then you get very high rotation rotation speed will be 700 1400 3000 not less than 700 i think so normal esp speed will be 3600 esp speed some be based on electrical frequency normally 3000 or 3600 rpm okay us normally 3600 it will be uh, i think in india it is 3000 or they can change the frequency using variable frequency drive and they can change the esp speed so it doesn't matter whether it is in india or us so because vfd is there these days so vfd can change the speed okay now it will be rotating a very high speed when it is rotating very high speed the if some fluid is taken here because of very high rotation fluid will try to go out of this impeller okay when it is going trying to going out so that area will be vacated okay let's say this i have this impeller one passage or channels like this okay and it's rotating like this now some fluid particle is here okay that fluid particle you give very high speed so fluid particle will try to move here 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 okay particle will try to move when particle one particle you take it is trying to move towards exit what will happen this area vacated low pressure will be created low pressure created means some pipe is connected to this it will suck more fluid and it will fill the cavity that vo vo void area the vacant area so that means fluid is sucked some fluid came again continuous rotation going on so that fluid also try to move so this fluid so one particle moving here another particle coming here another particle coming here so slowly all the particle will move it will try to exit okay because of centrifugal force Centri how centrifugal force working let's say if i have this one if uh, if i rotate it you see this okay at very high speed it will try to move away from my hand a similar thing is happening here because of centrifugal action if you give very high speed some particle is here that particle will try to go away from the centrifugal uh, from the impeller and from which side they will go back plate is there front plate is there it will try to go through this flow path whatever path will be there it will follow the path okay and this smooth path is given okay smooth path is given through the smooth path fluid will be moving this so what is happening take certain fluid here fill whole impeller 
all particles are here because of centrifugal action this particle will go away so this will area will be vacated so this area fluid will try to catch there this is vacated some new fluid will come some new fluid will uh, filling the vac uh, vacated area so you are creating low pressure low pressure low pressure low pressure will be sucking other fluid actually i am saying vacated so there is no cavitation or anything i am saying i am saying like low pressure creating okay that means some fluid particle gone from here low pressure created so low pressure will be sucking another fluid another fluid another fluid another fluid so all fluid line one rally will be created so fluid will be moving continuously okay moving out of the impeller now how impeller you now fluid is going out with very high velocity okay so you are creating very high velocity using your impeller you are creating very high velocity using your impeller okay so here i will write uh, fluid will be part will be moving like this then it will be going like this okay these are uh, blades this is a blade this is a blade these are blade blade okay this is blade this is blade this is blade this is blade okay I'm putting lines on the blades so blade each blade two between two blades there is a channel or path that is called passage flow passage okay from flow passage fluid is going out okay now fluid when it is going out what is happening it will be put inside one chamber or casing or volute okay so fluid will be collected here collected here collected here and it will go out so here if you see a b c figures i put name that is better d so figure b if you see figure b fluid is getting collected in the volute okay volute casing they say volute casing volute casing is fluid whatever fluid is this will be put inside one chamber okay the chamber will be collecting all this high velocity fluid and it will be delivering to this discharge okay discharge area or delivery pipe delivery pipe okay through the delivery pipe fluid will go out uh, i'll be drawing one i'll show one picture more uh, okay not this one next one yeah so if you see this my impeller uh, same impeller actually we tested in our laboratory in iit madras so this uh, the same impeller like i put a uh, this is a i'll put b c d okay the four picture i have so if you see this picture uh, from my laboratory uh, this is your pump section plus motor okay and uh, this impeller is here inside impeller is here okay and what is this section this section actually impeller you have to put inside uh, that uh, that cavity type thing is there so impeller will go inside that is actually volute okay so that volume will be volute will be collecting the fluid and it will be delivering to the top so here uh, if i see this is suction pipe okay then it is going to impeller then it is delivering delivery or a discharge fluid discharge if i match with my experimental complete setup so then suction pipe here this is pump this is delivery okay this is motor okay so uh, one thing here you can see this white portion something is there right uh, something is there here i think this one white portion so this is actually some gear section is there so high speed uh, machinery 
So, just to protect the area, we put this white section. So, if we do not protect a high speed machinery, if any nut is broken, that will be because of centrifugal action, it will be hitting your head or anything. Okay. And this is suction pipe. Suction pipe. Okay. And this is your water tank. And this is connected to water tank actually. This whole picture is not here, but this is water tank. And this is delivery pipe uh, going through through this, and it will be falling. Then water will be falling here. So whole loop will continue. Okay. And there are some pressure gauge and flow meter. There is a flow meter, and there is pressure gauge, and there will be speed sensor. There will be some speed sensor tachometer. Okay. When you are running our experimental setup. Uh, it will be running at very high speed, uh, centrifugal pump. Okay, so how much speed is there? Motor speed will be something. This speed will not be same. Why? Because if there is no load, fluid load, or any other load, then motor will be rotating at its synchronous speed or very high speed. But if you apply load, so motor will have some slip. Okay, because of slip, if it is having 3600 rpm, this will have 3500 rpm about. Okay, it is not fixed because based on load, this speed will change. Uh, but motor speed almost fixed, that is 3600 rpm. But because of slip, the speed will be reducing. And if you have load, then again motor will be giving lower rpm. So that rpm also you have to sense. So how to sense it? You have one tachometer, small device. So the device on this shaft, there will be a marker or reflector, uh, mirror type reflector, and tachometer will give some light on this reflector. So, how many times the reflector is giving reflection to tachometer, tachometer will sense that. Based on that, tachometer will count, okay, this much of a revolution done by shaft. Okay. And flow meter uh, will be measuring flow and pressure gauge, it will be measuring pressure, how much pressure you are having in your suction pipe or delivery pipe. And suction pipe uh, will be connected to your tank. Tank. Okay. Uh, th there is one other pressure gauge. Okay, this is another pressure gauge, and uh, this is impeller. Okay, so student should remember the terms impeller. This is impeller I already told. Impeller I, and this is volute casing. Volute. Okay, already written there volute casing so fluid will be collected here and it will be entering to your this and it will be exiting so discharge okay and this hole is for shaft shaft okay this is the shaft s h a f t s h a f t shaft okay so, sh why shaft is required? Motor will be rotating at very high speed, okay. And impeller also you have to rotate. So, one metallic cylindrical element, it will be giving the torque to the impeller. So, impeller will be rotating. So, volute is not rotating, impeller is rotating, okay. And fluid is entering from your impeller eye, exiting from this exit, okay. And what is exit angle? So, if I see this one. Okay, so, so this is called exit angle. Okay, so whenever you are studying ESP, first you have to go through basic impeller. This is the impeller, impeller is having impeller eye, shaft, you have impeller blade, back plate, front plate, and this is radial flow. If you have axial flow, then impeller design will be a little bit different. So, I am showing you the radial flow impeller. Okay, how fluid is delivered? Centrifugal force moves away, centrifugal moves away from the impeller through flow passage. Centrifugal force uh, gives, uh, centrifugal force moves away from impeller through flow passage. Better did not write this one. So, centrifugal uh, force will be pushing fluid 
from I to the exit of the blade. When fluid reaches inside wall of the volute, so it will be reducing its velocity. What is happening here? Uh, this is my volute. Uh, volute, yeah. This is my volute. Okay. This is my volute. Uh, this is volute. Okay. This is volute. Volute means the area where impeller rotating and all the fluid going out. Fluid will be collected in certain area. This impeller will be inside that box. Fluid will be collected some area that is called volute and volute gradually enlarging area. You can see there area is in enlarging. Okay, area enlarging means it is collecting more fluid, and when fluid area enlarging, it will be reducing velocity and increasing pressure. You can remember the Bernoulli's equation. There, velocity increasing, pressure uh, reducing, and opposite happening, right? So here also in volute, velocity reducing, velocity reducing. Uh, then uh, pressure increasing, P increasing. Okay, in volute, velocity reducing, pressure increasing. Impeller is giving very high velocity because of centrifugal force, right? Reducing the pressure at the impeller I. Uh, okay, liquid is drawn. Okay, impeller I area when it is giving you are giving very high rotation. Impeller I area area pressure will be lower because that particle is trying to moving up. So, suction pipe will be giving some fluid, okay, take some fluid, then that fluid will say, okay, I got energy, I am moving away. Then that, when they are moving away, that area is vacated. So, another fluid, suction pipe will, give, will say, hey, take more fluid. And when you will give more fluid, again fluid is moving up, more fluid. So, continuously this uh, story will go on, okay. The shape allows channel wider, okay. So, uh, this area is becoming wider, when wider area is there is creating diffuser action okay so because of diffuser, diffuser action you are developing pressure so pressure will be delivering fluid okay the pressure forces the liquid out of the pump discharge okay now here uh, the same picture actually whatever this one this one picture i put here so this is impeller i these are blades okay these are exit angle i can see and uh, one two three four five five blades are there okay and impeller uh, fluid is entering here okay then it is going out going out going out like this okay now if you see the picture i have taken from thesis of my student uh, imran siddiqui uh, he did his phd no not even this is hamid siddiqui uh, so this picture shows like i have impeller the same impeller actually they did competition of fluid dynamic analysis CFD analysis from C F D analysis okay just I, I want to show how the pressure is changing here when this is low pressure this is high pressure low high okay uh, high so low pressure you see this impeller area low pressure created and delivery area you see high pressure is created right because suction is happening so in inlet area very low pressure and when fluid is moving up up pressure increasing actually velocity uh, you are adding velocity also but same time you are reducing because this area is getting wider okay you are getting wider so you are uh, slowly you are developing uh, pressure but when it is reaching to volute area pressure is very high okay so this figure shows this one and uh, another colorful figure is there uh, so uh, here impeller impeller picture is here this one impeller impeller okay and these are blades actually this white one is a blade and uh, this is volute okay so this white one is blade a blade is rotating at very high speed blade rotation will be like this okay if you give opposite rotation then actually fluid will not be uh, delivered rather it will be sucking from opposite direction and in this impeller blades are white again uh, you see this blade okay these are blades uh, blade is here so one two three four, uh, five blades are there 
and when when it is rotating how the streamlines are moving if you see this fluid is moving and it is going out okay and velocity is zero here so nearby here some velocity is becoming zero okay and when it is going exit exiting so velocity going very high here also very high velocity velocity very high okay so near exit you are getting very higher velocity and because it is continuously adding energy so pressure also increasing velocity also increasing actually okay and uh, this red uh, red color shows the very high velocity and blue color shows very lower velocity okay okay shaft so impeller when you are talking about you will have one shaft so first i'll show one impeller actually this is called multi stage centrifugal pump or esp actual esp this one actually is esp will have impeller diffuser okay so actual esp will have one stage to, I hope it's not, it should not fall on my computer one stage two stage many stages are there okay i have taken one two three four five six six stages impeller i have uh centrifugal pump okay this is one stage actually this whole impeller it can be put like this okay this is very small i think less than four inch impeller uh, diameter and it is having diffuser impeller and this is connected to one metal rod you can see this <coughs> this is metal rod okay this is metal rod is called shaft okay shaft will be connected to your motor okay normally motor will be the bottom or some uh, motor can be top also sometime but normally motor will be here there will be a protector okay motor protector then pump and when motor is giving very high level rotation this pump also will be rotating okay and when motor shaft is rotating so shaft is a cylindrical element shaft is a cylindrical element okay shaft is a cylindrical element now what happens if i have shaft and is rotating at very high speed so impeller initially it will resist to rotate because static when it is static so it is not rotating and you are forcing impeller hey impeller rotate okay so impeller will say oh, why should i rotate then shaft what will do it will make specific shape so that impeller cannot refuse how let's say this hole is there impeller and shaft will be going okay and if shaft is purely cylindrical shaft is rotating but impeller not rotating okay i am rotating the shaft but impeller is not rotating okay so what we have to do you have to put one keyway keyway is like this i think you can see from this picture uh, this uh, actual impeller this is this was tested in my laboratory so i am showing the actual impeller actually okay so uh, you see the hole this hole you can see this hole okay hole is like this okay so impeller hole you see properly there is one some dent is there okay so dent is long dent okay long dent and this is impeller impeller is having dent and shaft if i make shaft okay a shaft also will have dent like this okay shaft also will have dent like this so now impeller is having one dent shaft is also having one dent for example uh, there is one dent here instead of circle cut some small portion and remove the material okay now put this one now both are having dent now in between to the dent you put one pencil or some metallic metal like metal will be like this okay so this is keyway
ok. So, you put this one, it is having one dent, it is having one dent, in between you put one that small key ok. So, what will happen? A small key will be restricting relative motion, then it will be rotating together ok, it will be rotating together. When rotating together, shaft will be transferring torque, so impeller cannot diffuse, impeller will say ok, let us rotate together, fine. Why they do not put welding or other thing? So, sometime you have to remove your impeller. So, if you were welding, then you have to break things or uh, threading also not possible, actually threading can remove oh, sometime. Uh, you can put let us say tight fit, you can hammer again there will be problem. So, what they do? Put a key way, if required, hammer the key and put it and you can remove also that key. And another thing is that key, they will be putting some softer material. So, if there is any extra load, key will get broken, the so, key will make system safe, ok. So, key will be resist, uh, will be giving uh, uh, restriction and it will be moving together. So, there will be no relative motion between shaft and impeller, first thing. Second thing, it will be softer material. So, it will be, it will be safe if there is any extra load is there, key will be broken and shaft will be rotating, but impeller not rotating. So, in that case system will be safe actually, but if you have very high load on impeller, impeller is not rotating, motor is trying to rotate, what will happen? If motor is trying to rotate, it is not rotating because of some blockage. So, something will get broken. So, easiest way to solve the problem is that put softer key like you have electrical um, fuse at your home, right? If there is any extra voltage is there, fuse will be cut and your system will be safe. So, that way, key way, the key will be broken and system will be safe. Okay. So, housing, uh, housing means like uh, if you have surface pump, then one housing will be required, but if you have semi -sub, uh, semi submersible uh, submersible pump, so in that case, uh, you have to hold this outer casing properly inside tubing, then you have to rotate your, uh, you have to rotate your shaft, it will be delivering fluid to the top, ok. Suction pipe, keyway uh, housing delivery and suction pipe, delivery suction pipe I, we, uh, we have already seen, alright. So, impeller uh, will have, this will be wider, uh, this area and this area will be narrower, right. So, we will have impeller rotation direction like this, yeah, uh, ok, and rotation direction this, this one and this will be connected to your water sump or water tank. If it is surface pump, it will be looking like this, if it is not surface pump, it, it is like sucker or uh, ESP, electric submersible pump you are using for well bore, then the system will not look like this, but to understand the basic fundamental, we draw simplest diagram like this. Okay, so simplest diagram means water. Simplest life to make life simpler. Take water. Okay, no combustible fluid now, petrol or diesel. Take water. Then water will be passing through one net. One valve will be there one way. Okay. So one way valve and strainer ok. This is suction pipe and this is your level of water, you are having atmospheric pressure. If you switch on the pump, actually ideally it should start sucking and should be delivering, but if pump you are putting at very high level, then it will not be able to suck ok. And if you have gas filled instead of liquid, your pump is filled with air, what will happen? You are giving very high rotation, you are rotating at very high speed, this is metal, so very heavy. So, that is why I am doing like this, so that it should not fall on my computer. Uh, so, it is, uh, but this is not metal, non-metal we made actually for laboratory experiment for our laboratory, ok. So, this impeller will be rotating and if liquid is there, liquid will be having higher density, water 1000, 1 kg, 1 centimeter cube per second, uh, 1 gram per second, a gram per centimeter cube, 1000 kg per meter cube. So, water will have very high centrifugal force, ok, because of density, but you have air, air is very light density. So, very light density means when air is moving up, it will not create so much vacuum or so much low pressure, so that water particle can be sucked, 
okay so if it is filled with air air will not able to suck water because it is creating very low pressure actually because water particle moving but that moving zor nahi hoga it will be very low energy system okay so this will not suck your liquid then what you have to do you have to fill the system with water that is called priming so priming means fill the pump fill the pump with liquid before starting okay before starting you have to pump, fill the pump with liquid so no air must be there so what you do normally there will be one hole here so from this hole you put water pour water 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 so it will start it will be starting filling but this one way valve i have shown here if i don't have one way valve what will happen you put water from the top but water will be go down to your reservoir so water will you are actually pumping uh, that impeller area will not get filled so you have to get one way valve so that when you are pump uh, delivering water so water will be stay, staying there and it will be filling this whole suction pipe and impeller and from that hole entry hole if you see uh, what no more water is going that means pump is completely filled you close that valve okay so that one way valve is called foot valve okay this is called foot valve uh now foot valve when you are using so there will be a strainer also okay why strainer will be there so then no debris should not enter into the your suction pipe it is going to the, the debris will be going to your impeller section so that blocking your flow channels because the channels are very narrow channel so if any big uh, particle or debris or something going then it will be blocking the system then when it is getting blocked then there will be problem okay uh, that's why there will be some strainer and uh, foot valve is one way valve when uh, you switch on the impeller or pump so that time it will be sucking through suction pipe so the valve will be opening it will give flow path again you switch off valve be closing whole fluid will not go to your uh, your uh, tank okay and delivery and suction uh, pump can suck only limited amount of head okay suction head should be limited because th this depends on your net positive suction head criteria okay and what type of fluid you are pumping what is the temperature what is the piping and in inlet condition all those factors will be there uh, based on that you have to decide what should be your inlet pipe length or where should be your wa inlet water level if it is submerged in liquid still you have to check whether fluid is if fluid is getting sucked and there is uh, pressure drop huge pressure drop in the suction side then pump can cavitate when it is cavitating the pump can fail because of vibration noise erosion wear tear so many things can happen and the system can fail but delivery pipe delivery is dependent on your head developed by the pump and it is already limited we have seen from your uh, hq curve okay so and if you want to deliver let's say very high head so in that case you create multiple stages if one stage is giving 5 meter head let's say this is 5 meter head this will be given 10 meter 20 meter 25 30 35 okay so one uh, so, so in that way you increase you want to get 100 meter and it is giving 5 meter so 5 5 5 5 5 you add all the head okay 100 meters means 100 by uh, 5 20 so 20 stages will be required okay 